Hi there. Welcome to our live demo. My name is Paul Kling, and I'm the segment manager for packaging for Yaskawa Motion. It's Wednesday of Pack Expo, and we're coming to you from our demo room here in Waukegan, Illinois. So while we, we'd love to be in Chicago, downtown at McCormick Place, meeting face-to-face -face and doing all the things we normally would with uh, the trade show, wasn't happening this year, and Pack Expo Connects gives us a nice alternative. So we had some interesting challenges earlier this week with some of the live demo platforms, but I think everything's squared away and hopefully it goes off without a hitch. So if you have any questions, please feel free to submit them online. Our team is waiting and ready to reply and uh, they will get to them throughout this uh, live demo session. Today, we're gonna talk about an innovation called Singular Control. What this does is it simplifies the ability to control servo, VFD, and robot mechanisms. For us, what this means is one control in one software to control all these different technologies. Today, machine builders are forced to really push the bounds of automation and motion. There's a lot of demands on how their machines need to perform and they go through this ongoing battle, we all go through this ongoing battle of deciding what technologies to use for the different elements on a machine. We also are challenged as to identifying the products and the vendors that yield the best performance in those areas. And at the same time, evaluate the risks of how do you piece together servo, VFD, robot, PLC, and all the different elements that Need, are needed to uh, have a successful machine out there. So there's a compromise, there's benefits. What we really love about Yaskawa's singular control is it unifies control of all of our products. And that includes servos, VFDs, and robot mechanisms, all components that you see back here on our demo. So behind me, we will talk about the components which do include the heart of singular control, which is our MP3300 and all the different elements on this machine. So to give you an overview of uh, an introduction to singular control, we're going to queue up a quick video for you here. One controller, one brain, controlling any number of different mechanisms. Anybody can program a robot. One control for any of the automation or any of the robot solutions. Simple, unique, the solve all solution. That is the strength and power of singular control. What you'll see in this demo is an array of traditional motion control axes, as well as an array of different uh, robot mechanisms, all being run off of one singular control. Our MP3300 IEC controller has the ability to control the traditional servo axes, as well as the robot control. When you want to change from, say, a gantry to an articulated robot, keeping the same programming that you already did, we can show exactly how that drop-down menu allows us to change mechanisms. Anybody who understands ladder logic, function blocks, or structured text can program a robot utilizing our singular control platform. You're only programming one unit with one programming language that never has to change. Coming from a manufacturer of both servo drives as well as robots, this gives us the real understanding of both technologies and be able to implement it into one control. I'd like to think that the machine builder will look at singular control as being the solve-all solution for their control platform. Machine builders have to come up with different designs using different mechanisms, and if you could use one control for any of the automation, that would be the simplest solution out there.
So now that you have a 10,000 foot view of singular control, our next step is to dive into some of the specifics. We want to show you sort of exactly how singular control is implemented on this particular machine. And uh, we'll go through some of the products it controls, how it controls it. And our goal here is to really provide an appreciation for everything singular control does and everything that our MP3300 IEC is controlling on here. As a follow-up to that segment, it's important to highlight a few additional details regarding singular control and this demo. As indicated, the MP3300 IEC is at the heart of singular control and drives this machine's functionality. It has the capacity to control 1 to 62 axes of motion with standard IEC 61131 programming. So that's your standard function block, ladder logic, and structured text that people in packaging are very familiar with. It functions as a PLC and a high-end motion controller with blended moves, vibration suppression, and controls any number of robot mechanisms. All this with one controller and one software. So let's take a closer look at a few of the mechanisms controlled on our singular control platform. If we follow the flow of blocks, we first look at the dual arm delta robot with two axes of servo motion. At the other end of the machine, our engineered systems group designed a custom robot mechanism utilizing four axes of motion. From there, we have our six axis GP series articulated arm, and next to that, a six axis Moto Mini robot where the whole mechanism is moving in line via another axis of motion, but this time a Yaskawa linear servo motor. And there's a few more rotary axes of motion driving the conveyors. And let's not forget some of the other important machine functions where the MP3300 IEC is interacting with an HMI as well as machine vision. You can see just how powerful Singular Control is, all this capability with one controller and one software. So that's quite a technology when you think of Singular Control and its ability to manage all those different types of products within a machine as clean and simply as it does. So <clears throat> Singular Control really is applied best on an application and its impact is best on an application that has a variety of motion and robotics. So this particular graphic I'm gonna show you here is our standalone machine controller solution or what we would call uh, from our perspective a singular control. What you can see here is a graphic representation of all the different products and capabilities that we have with singular control and if you take a look in the middle here, that's our MP3300 IEC control. And it really is the brains and the function with IO, HMI, all the different servos, servo technologies, and all of our different robot mechanisms that we can control with this item. Again, everything on here, we're talking one control and one software platform. So if we think about different types of applications, Case Packer comes to example, oftentimes they're using a combination of gantries, articulated, deltas, servos and VFDs, and with that comes a lot of different controllers that they have to integrate. This particular slide shows case packing with servo driven gantries. Here what we can do with singular control with the Yaskawa Solutions, we can not only control these gantries with the multi-axes multi of robots that are on them, but we control, control the conveyors any other ancillary servo axes, as well as robots that may be downstream or upstream in the packaging or case packing process. Here's another application and uh, example of a case packer that 
In this particular image, they're using two articulated robots and two delta robots. Typically what this means is at least four different controllers for those uh, applications, and that's a lot to integrate. With Yaskawa, we could use our single MP3300, and we can control all, uh, both of those articulated robots, as well as both of the deltas in the conveyors, the infeed, the outfeed, again, a lot of capabilities uh, with our controller and how we uh, handle that. Recently, we had a great success with a robotic palletizer. We had a customer that had previous experience with Yaskawa servos and our IEC control, but it was their first time using a Yaskawa robot. So naturally, there was a little anxiety about implementing and, and introducing another control technology in there. So our solution that we worked with them on is said, let's not introduce a new control. Let's utilize the MP3300 IEC. You're already familiar with it. So the end result was complete control of this cell without an additional robot control. And because of the machine, our machine controls capabilities, we could handle all the PLC and all the other ancillary control. So they also were able to eliminate putting any additional PLC on this. Uh, on this item. So again, super nice uh, solution and uh, one control really for that entire cell. Some of the key advantages for that application and utilizing singular control is absolutely reduce development time. That's great. You can, you really focus on one control to develop all those different axes. Very simple to integrate. You can maximize performance, right? We have one control in this particular example, we have one control that's controlling everything on here. It knows what it's doing, it knows what it needs to do, and uh, that's gonna give the ultimate in performance. And then you think of flexibility. You take an application where you're not sure what technology you wanna use. Well, it doesn't matter with singular control. Whether it's VFD or servos for rotary, whether it's an articulated or a delta, we've got the ability to control all of that. So one last point I wanted to make here, that's very unique and it's a really cool feature that Singular Control has is that our ability to change out a robot mechanism. And so I'm gonna explain just real quickly what that means. So if I take a look here on the demo, we have a Delta robot here that typically Deltas are meant, mounted above the load and are doing some sort of pick and place application. Well, let's just say for example, the application requirements changed. And now all of a sudden that overhead space now is a premium and we need, to create, um, we need to create some space up there. What Singular Control allows us to do is to take that Delta robot, drop it down, pull it out of the application, and maybe take something like our GP8 and articulate it. We could mount that off to the side, and with Singular Control, all it requires is a small change in the software to change the mechanism from a Delta to an articulated, and all the information, all the programming, and all the development time we used to develop the code and the motion is retained. There really is no programming change that needs, needed to be made to go from a delta to an articulated. And that's really cool. You talk about flexibility and being able to solve the application the right way. That's a feature that allows you to do that. So if you have any interest, we do have a three robots on one control live demo. That will happen on Friday of this week, so uh, take a look at our live demo list if you're interested in that. So reach out to us if you have any questions. Um, reach out to us online on our uh, vertical, uh, excuse me, on our virtual showroom. We have uh, plenty of people online to chat and handle any of your questions. So that concludes our Singular Control live demo. Thank you so much for joining us.